Hello, this is Carl Brooks with IamThereforeiPad.com and today I'm going to share with you the ability to add ROMs to the Gridly uh, emulator app right from your device. So again, you're going to be able to add ROMs to the iOS device without using a PC. In order to accomplish this, you're going to need a, a couple of tools. So the two things that you're going to need the first thing is Safari Download Manager. This allows you to download uh, any file from within the Safari application to be downloaded to your device. And this can be found in the Cydia app. The next app is called iFile. Now iFile will allow you to manipulate the files on your device. So once you have these two files we can go to Safari and start our search okay so we would go to any website that has compatible ROMs and let's just find a ROM here narrow our search down to MAMES hit search and we're going to do this ghost pilots now in order for ghost pilots to work on this particular emulator emulator you will need the Neo Geo uh, zip file added to your device prior to downloading okay so we click here to begin the download wait seven seconds or so now this is the normal Safari but if you take a look up near the top left you see there is a, a downward arrow into a, a box here okay now I download this before so I'll just clear that okay so you see it's empty we'll click here to start the download and you see it's giving us an option of where we want to save it this destination is fine so we'll hit download and notice there's a one in that icon there if I click that again I can see the progress of that file okay so we just allow that to download the one will disappear when it's complete and then we can move on to iFile once the file has been downloaded and it should be done and it is okay so it's done we go to iFile and we want to go to the downloads directory now you see the downloads directory is in var slash mobile slash media slash downloads you see the files there I click on edit that allows me to select the file I want to work with so I click G pilots and in the lower right corner you'll see a clipboard I can click that and now I have the option to cut. So I'm going to cut that. And then I'm going to go to the Gridly ROMs directory. Now you notice on the left side I have shortcuts. Or bookmarks, I'm sorry. It allows me to get there quickly. But we'll just do it the hard way first. So I just go to Home. So here's Home and if I go to applications it's a pretty big file so it may take a while for that to pop up oh, I did click it come on okay so I did it twice alright so let me go back one now you notice here I'll, I can see the actual app names but by default that's not possible so you would normally have to click this gear first yeah, maybe that's not it. Uh, where do I want to go? I want to change the settings. Maybe that's it. File manager. Okay, yes, here. And you see where it says application names? You would have to turn that on. Because if it's off, now watch when I switch that to off. Come on. You notice that the the folder names are 
this coded, encoded message that doesn't mean anything to you. So by hitting the gear and turning application names on, it translates those names to something that you can read. So from there, we can navigate to the Gridly directory. Otherwise, we wouldn't know which directory to go to. Okay, so we find Gridly here, and we want to go to Documents, and then the ROMs directory. Okay, what you want to do here is is to be able to click on bookmarks and hit the plus. And when you hit the plus, it's going to allow you to add this shortcut. That way you can get to this area um, faster. So I'll create this even though I already have one. So you see here, Gridley's there, ROMs, they both point to the same thing. So we went to downloads, and let's just do that again. We edit, select, hit cut, and now we go to the ROMs directory, hit the same clipboard, we have the option to paste. Now that document is in this list. It doesn't really matter that we look here, but it is definitely here now. Ghost.zip. See there? So we're done with iFile for this purpose. Now we just simply need to go to the Gridly directory and find our game. So let's do that. So there, there you have it. Uh, I lose the sound when I'm recording, unfortunately, when I go into the Gridly because it wants to use the sound there. So that game had sound and you weren't able to hear me talking. But nevertheless, you saw that it worked. Uh, when you go into Gridly, you have to hit the exit button to update that list so that you see any newly added um, files. If for some reason you download a app that does not work and shows up in the list you can simply you know hit the lower red button in Gridly and select delete that ROM to delete it if it doesn't work asking for a CMD or whatever that ROM error message that you get um, if you copy one and it doesn't show up on the list after hitting the exit button uh, then you would have to delete that bad file from iFile by simply uh, scrolling down alphabetically, finding that file, and delete it. So I suggest you copy one file at a time so that you can verify that it works prior to moving on to any additional file. So there you have it. This is Carl Brooks with IamThereforeiPad.com, and until next time, I'll see you on the web. And in the meantime, you can rate this video. You can leave a comment below and definitely make sure you check out our blog over at iamthereforeipad.com. Peace.